Welcome to all in the online teaching classes of Army Public School Agra session 2020-21. Hello children, this is Sonali Sharma ma'am. Children, I know you all are missing your classroom, your school environment, your colleagues, your teachers and of course me. Children, I know sitting at one place in a closed room is really very boring. So let's start a new way of studying with me. But before that, let me ask something to you. Have you seen a giant elephant? A roaring tiger? Plants? human beings. Are they living beings? Yes, they are living beings. Children, have you also seen sofa, table and chair? These are non-living things. Children, do you know what is the difference between living and non-living things? Living things need Non-living things do not need food to live. Now again, there must be a question in your mind that why living things need food to live? Let me tell you children, living things need food to get energy, to work and play. Food also help us to grow and stay healthy. So today, we will study about food we eat. In this chapter, we will learn about sources of food, importance of food, classification of food, balanced diet and healthy eating habits. So let's start with chapter number 5, food we eat. Different types of food consumed by plants, animals and human beings for their different activities are called nutrients. The five main nutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Cereals, bread, sugar and potato are rich in carbohydrates. Pulses, soya, meat and fish have plenty of proteins. Oil, butter, cheese and nuts are rich in fats. Milk, fruits and vegetables have different vitamins and minerals that help our body to fight against diseases. We should also consume roughage, milk and water to clear our stomach. So children, we should take all these nutrients in appropriate amount which is called a balanced diet. Children, we can keep our food safe from insects worms and germs by using different methods of preservation. We can preserve food by boiling, freezing, dehydrating, pickling, etc. Children, we should always follow healthy and good food habits like washing hands before and after meal, Chew our food properly and always eat clean and fresh food. At last, I must say that we should include fruits, vegetables, green salads and all the nutrients in appropriate amount to keep ourselves fit and energetic. 